That's right, we are going 10 gig networking across the entire house. All right, so this is one of the cooler emails I've ever gotten. Basically, one of the guys at Unify sent me an email like, hey, we saw your Synology videos. We also see you do Unify videos. You want me to send you anything? And so then I got this in the mail. This right here is the upgrade that I've been really waiting for. And this is the Unify Enterprise XG24, which has 24 10 gig RJ45 ports on it and two 25 gigabit SFP28 ports on there as the ultimate home switch. And so I'm gonna use this to really upgrade my home network to 10 gigabit. So any device on the network will be 10 gig accessible so easily. It is going to be awesome and it's finally going to get me off of having this really weird setup where I've pretty much had a ethernet cable going from my server room to my laundry room and then <laughs> just patched into my laundry room to my actual office for 10 gig networking. And so now everything will be proper 10 gig and so I can really open up everything I'd like to do and I can really start to edit at very fast speeds. I'm really excited for this and it's absolute overkill. The other really great thing about this is it has two 25 gig SFP28 ports on there. Just one thing to note, if one of them is at 10 gig speed, they both have to be at 10 gig speed. You can't have one of them at 25 gig speed and one of them at 10 gig speed. It can be annoying here, but it's not terrible. But what this is going to allow me to do is eventually once I get my 25 gig set up here, just have a single port connecting this back to my master switch over 25 gigabit and that is going to give me so much throughput through here. I am really excited. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing up and running and we're gonna go ahead and install it. This has been out in my garage for a few weeks and I've been very anxiously awaiting this day. Oh. Unify has pulled an apple and means you don't even need a knife now to open our boxes. We got our power cables. This is not gonna be an unboxing. I guess this is technically an unboxing, but I'm just gonna speed through this. And this also has my favorite thing in the world. The accordion style styrofoam. So I am really excited to get this thing up and running because my 10 gig networking has been just it's been janky to say the least, and this is going to really bring me into the 21st century with it. And it is going to be absolutely awesome. So for those of you who don't know my networking setup at my house, it's quite weird, but actually kind of genius in my opinion. I've got essentially an entire server room with an eight foot rack in there in my guest bedroom. And then that is like my home lab essentially. Then everything else, all my networking, is actually based out of my laundry room where everything's connected in. Then I've got fiber optic cables that connect the two. The advantage of this is I can run my entire networking stuff out of a separate area than my actual rack. And so that helps me in two fronts. One, it means I can separate everything out, and so I can take out the entire rack for any kind of update and not touch the network. And so the Wi-Fi stays up, which is really important. And then it also means that there's a nice, clean, logical place for all the networking cables to go into. And so I don't have a bunch of networking cables going into my rack. And so this is going to be obviously going into the laundry room. It's going to be a bit of a different setup where it's going to be directly connected to the main switch in my rack. And so that means that if the rack goes down, so will this. So this will just be my devices and nothing on here will be crucial to the entire use of the network. My rule for my home lab, one of many things is, the internet always has to be up. So pretty much the entire rack can go down in my guest bedroom, but the internet will stay up and Wi-Fi will stay up, which is crucial. But this guy will go down with that, but for performance reasons, I'm A-OK -okay with that. And so let's go ahead and get started. Just need to install my rack here, and then we're gonna use some fiber optic cables. All right, so now he's all ready to go. And so now we're going up and installing this in my laundry room. So now to actually get this going, the very first thing we need to do is I actually need to have the fiber hookup from here 
This right here is my master top of rack switch, at least it is for now. I'm actually planning on upgrading this to 25 gigabit with the Unify Enterprise Aggregation Pro, I think that's the one it's called. And so once I've got that upgrade in here, this will all be 25 gigabit, but for now it's 10 gig. And so I just need to run some fiber optic cables from the wall back there, which is hooked up to my laundry room. And so it will be able to be hooked up right there. So I'm just gonna run two of them really quick. We're gonna add some transceivers and go from there. So there's one of them, and now the second one. All right, and so now that the fibers have been run up to here, I'm just gonna attach them to the switch with two SFP plus transceivers, and then we'll go ahead and hook it up to the main network. All right, and so now that that's done, I should have 10 gig networking all the way over in those other ports over there, and you can also see I've almost filled this thing up. You also see there's four 10 gig RJ45 ports over there, and I'm actually gonna get a lot of those back because those are actually the ones that are going from in here to the networking closet all the way then into my office. And that's because I just do not have any other 10 gig switches. So now I've got the switch, they'll be directly hooked up. And so I'm really excited for that. So it should make this a lot less janky and I'll get some space back in here and can clean out some of these excess cables that have just been lying around for a while. All right, well now onto the laundry room. All right, there's a decent chance it's just a hard cut now because I think YouTube does not like it when you curse and this is going to be a huge pain to deal with. That was, okay, never mind. That was awesome. All right, so now it's safely installed. So now I'm just gonna hook up to start one of these. And so that way we don't end up with a loop to start out with. And then just from the app, I'm just going to make it into an aggregate port. All right, and then what I like to do is just, because I, <laughs> I didn't actually label the uh, ports. So I'm, now I'm just gonna try to figure out which one is which. All right, so 24 is live. And 23 is live. So that would be why we were getting no signal. I had a one in three chance of that happening. And boom, now he's gonna be connected into the rest of the network. And I'm just going to leave one of these guys hooked up. All right, I'm just going to leave this guy halfway plugged in. So that way when I do go in and set up on the network really quick over there, I can just plug it in fully. And that way we don't start off with a loop because loops are, uh, loops are bad. Though it should detect it, it still can cause weird issues. All right, well now we're done in here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in the office and get everything set up and running. All right, so now I can finally undo some of the jankiest setups that I've had. I can finally bring in these ports that I've been wanting to at full 10 gig and not worry about having everything perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the ports going to my office and switch them over to 10 gig and then add a bunch more. All right, perfect. There's a lot more ports I wanna add, but for now, this is what I require to get up and running. All right, and so now, back over here, and we are just gonna go ahead and adopt it in the console. I'm gonna run back over there and switch it over to some link aggregation so I can get 20 gigs of throughput. It's not a full 25 gig or 50 gig that I can with the upgrade, but for now, that's where we're at. So I'm just gonna go in here, and it should be found, pending adoption, perfect. All right, and so now while it's going through and updating, I'm gonna go ahead and just start off the link aggregation over here by selecting the two ports. And I'm going to say that they are going to be aggregate. So 11 and 12, I am just going to wait until it's done updating just because switching it off is not a great idea right when it's updating. But once that's done, I'll switch it on over and it should be fine. It's probably fine. 
but it's just one of those things. You wait 30 seconds for it to update, a lot less problems. It's definitely worth it. All right, a little bit of fiddling later. Had to undo it and redo it, and then it worked. Link aggregation is just kind of like that sometimes. Once it starts working, it's pretty much good. But the first time to establish a connection, for whatever reason, sometimes just doesn't work. Now when everything boots up again, it, at least in my experience, will be totally fine. But the very first time going from non-aggregated to aggregated tends to be quite weird. But we should be good, and now let's go ahead and just do a really quick test to see if this thing's got the full 10 gig. Now I've got tons of ports around my office that are 10 gig and around the house that will be soon to be 10 gig. So I'm just plugging in a little 10 gig dongle right here. And we have connected with the full 10 gig speed. Unfortunately, I can't do a speed test right now because all my servers are down for filming this video, but I'm fairly certain that this is going to have zero trouble running it. And if it doesn't, for whatever reason, by the time I'm editing this video, you'll have a fill in. I am not gonna do a full review of this yet because I have not gotten to the 25 gig setup and I feel like I need to have 25 gig and also this running for a while before my full review. So stay tuned for that. But finally, we have the full 10 gig capability across my entire house and I'm really excited for that. I got to clean out such a junk, janky setup that has been driving me crazy for a while and I think it looks really great. Go and leave any other tutorials like see me make in the comments below and check out all my other videos and have a good one. Bye.